In the July 2020 counter sketch update, we completely updated the user interface. You'll notice that a lot of the icons have changed, as well as all of the images on the different tile screens. As you go into the customize screen and begin to search for items, you'll also notice that all of the icons for the filters have been updated as well. In addition, you will notice that we have updated our portfolio manager with new colors and styles. As you look at the freehand library, you'll notice that we've updated our freehand selection screen and relocated our ring rail and add a gem icons to the lower left. In addition to the user interface, we've also updated our preferences screen. Within the preferences, you'll notice that we've added some new features. For example, now in the general screen, we've got lots of different options to choose from. Some new features that have been added include being able to hide the advanced stack controls, keep the parts window open, and also reopen the last portfolio used. For the materials options, we've given you the ability to disable different options. For the order screen, we've also given you the ability to disable options or choose defaults. If you choose to hide an entire category, it will unselect all of the sub options. The region settings and viewport options remain the same and the update screen has been simplified to show the current counter sketch version and your version as well as seek to import designs. The portfolio and backup and restore options have also been updated as well as the troubleshooting tab. We've also updated the counter sketch quick estimate including the layout and a new highlight when you hover over various pricing options. We've also made the large diamonds that are not included in a different color versus the accent stones that are included. We hope that you enjoy all of the new features in this updated version of CounterSketch.